if you guys don't, if you guys haven't seen my other plan with me video, um, I basically went through all of the kits that I had and then found this kit and was about to give it away and then decided against it because it's so pretty. Look at the yellow. So I'm gonna just cover this box, this space up here with the yellow, start the whole yellow theme going. And then there's still quite a few boxes in here. What I might do, should I do hexagons with all of them except that one? That one just looks a little bonky. But I wonder if, hmm, my mind is thinking at the moment. Because there's, in this checklist, there's seven. And if I kind of slice it into its rows, that would be enough for boxes throughout the whole thing. But is that too small to write down my word of the day? Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. What do you think? I asked that question like you guys are going to answer me like in live, but whatever. Um, so what I'm going to do is these three, although it'll look weird if you just see part of her hand. Mm, okay, maybe what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this to the side, and I'm going to use my stencil. This is a stencil I got from Michael's in the Recollections um, aisle. I'm going to trace out hexagons in each of them. And I decided to go this way because this was only really $6 at Michael's. Where's the punch? I've been looking at it, it's at least 15 bucks. And I know this takes a little bit of time, but I also didn't know if I could find this size hexagon as a punch, so I decided stencil all the way. Plus, I also get a whole bunch of other little stencils in here as well. Like circles and some scallops and uh, so I mean it, it does take a little bit of time to be able to trace them out and then cut them but I love the overall effect of it so I'll move on to the next sticker and I'm just gonna speed you guys through this part So there they are all cut out here. One of the things I do want to put down though is this big weekend banner. Place it like this? Yeah. And if you guys notice, I'm not using wax, wax paper this week. I did buy some, but I completely forgot about it today. That's okay. Okay, so now that all these are cut out, I'm going to kind of arrange them where I want. So first organize them into groups. How meticulous am I? <laughs> and there's going to be some that don't have everything. 
but no, oh, that needs at least three. Okay. Okay, so there's four groups of those, and I actually quite like that. So maybe one in each corner. Like if I do it here, or do it here, do these here, do the three here. You know, I think I'll be set, like do little hexagons everywhere. And this is the part that takes the most time is the peeling of the sticker. I mean, obviously it's easier when they're on the sticker paper to peel them back, but you know me, I like to make things harder. So I'm kind of just half off the page here. There we go. And this is a great way to actually make use of the stickers so that you get more than one placement of the stickers. And this way you kind of get the pattern spreading throughout the whole of the spread. And then these bricks, I love the color of the yellow. Now, if my Happy Planner had been one with lots of color, I may not have been able to use this particular kit to go with it because, and this is why I like neutral um, planners, because I mean the color may not have exactly matched what I wanted to do. So this is why I choose um, neutral planners to begin with. Although saying that, I did just buy the Squad Mini Happy Planner and that one has rainbow discs and a lot of color, which at first would completely throw me off, but I'm ready to take on the challenge of a new layout, but also color schemes and trying to make the color schemes match. I think because now I'm moving away from kits, like this may be one of the last kits that I use in a while, if at all, coming up in the future, sorry. Wow. Uh, yeah, so with me getting away from kits, um, it'll be easier to kind of go with the color schemes that are already on the page. So, place this down. I'm gonna end up covering that hole for the disc, but that's okay because I can use my hole punch. And then this one. But I don't know, I don't know if you guys are wondering like why I've gone away from the, the kits and that particular layout. So for the, at the beginning of the year and even towards the end of last year, I was using the uh, the week on two pages layout, which was very similar to a layout that was in my B6. And I enjoyed that layout. I'm gonna switch these. I really enjoyed that layout because it was what I'd been using for a, a bit of time, uh, especially in my B6 and trying to transition from a B6 to a mini happy planner. I really enjoyed that layout and using kits in that type of layout because I liked the columns. I really enjoyed seeing everything in columns. Then when I switched to the dashboard layout, that is cute, crooked, but cute. Oh well. When I switched to the dashboard layout, it made me realize that, I mean, the kits that I was using weren't necessarily compatible with the layout. so. I, I stopped using them, but also a lot of the Happy Planner sticker books that were coming out were amazing and I loved them. So it was just this natural progression from kits to the Happy Planner stickers. So I'm just placing these hexagons down in the corners of the spread just to add a little something. And this is going to be my decoration really is these hexagons. And I'm putting them in a way that I don't mind the design being off. Like you see that buildings on this its side. I don't mind that at all. 
Whoopsie. Did you guys get a chance to check out my recipe video, my recipe plan with me? I was a bit scared of putting that up at first because I'm like, who am I to be the one putting up recipes? So I chose my simplest, most favorite recipe. And one of the simplest that I do, do I put it here? Yeah. Um, so if you guys haven't had a chance to check that out, I just wanted to do something simple because I, I still wasn't sure of the layout. So let's put that down there. Ooh, oh, I love that. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to cut off the excess here and then I'm going to punch the holes in. Super adorable. The cuteness. Cute, cute, cute. <laughs> yeah, look at my hands. Look at the mess on my table. Like, look at that mess. And really, it's not a huge mess, but oh my god. Okay, so let's sweep that off to the side. Ah, don't fall. Um, I really like that. I'm gonna grab my hole punch. And in this instance, I feel like a hole punch would work better because the sticker is a bit thicker. I've tried, I've seen some people who have tried doing this through the Happy Planner Punch and um, it's not always the best for thicker paper to punch through. Just line it up and then whoa, cut off the slits and you're done. Oh, I like it. Oh, sorry about the shaking. I like that a lot. It looks like little honeycombs on the side. So now I'm gonna go in with the boxes for the words, like my word of the day. And I'm thinking I'll use the simpler boxes for the days that already have decoration. Like Monday, Thursday and Friday. And then the days that don't have decoration, because obviously I don't want to overload this spread with decoration. Cute. Like Sunday, for example. I will. I still have a few of the hexagons left. And I mean, I could. Again, I don't want to overload it with hexagons. You know what I mean? Like I could put two here, put two there, but I feel like it'd be too much. So I'm gonna use one of these for, cause in it, in and of itself, like this sticker is like beautiful and it's almost a decoration on its own. But I will put a glitter header with it because well, it's a glitter header. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay. And there. Just a little something. And then on here, I, ouch, I feel like I could use, hmm, do something different. I mean, I think down here I will use this and maybe one of the little washi strips. I want to cover that, but at the same time, it'll look weird if the word of the day is not right at the bottom. If that makes sense. Mm, sorry. Okay, and then I need Saturday and Wednesday. So I'm gonna try and keep those simple actually. And maybe just go with these. Yeah, oh yeah. place that up here. Mm, yeah, up here. Upside down like that. Do something different. 
There's a lot of yellow, but I am enjoying it. Oh, I love that so much. Yellow. Who knew? Oopsie. Okay, so again, very decorative. It feels like there's a lot of stickers on here normally than there would be for a, um, a journaling spread, but I love the pops of yellow. They're so cute, so, so cute. So I'm gonna put this back in the mini happy planner. Ooh, the bookmark. And voila, what do you guys think? All right, but that's it for me. I was able to use this kit in two two spreads and really I mean these date covers I will like the date dots I will use this I may not I still have checklists left over I may give those away I still have these left over and I still have these left over so huge kit barely I mean I use most of it I mean all the full boxes I'll show you the full boxes full box are like full boxes are completely <laughs> like gone so anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.